So problem number seven is the 10,001st prime. And this is the problem right here. So it says by listing the first six prime numbers. Remember, prime numbers are numbers that only have two factors, one and itself. And if we list the uh, first six prime numbers, we can see that there are two, three, five, seven, and 11, and 13. So that's a sixth prime number, and that's 13 right here. And basically, we just have to create a function that basically takes in a value n and then returns the nth prime number. And um, in the official problem, we have to provide the value of the 10,001st prime number right here. So the function is called nth prime, so that's the one that we're going to be implementing. So, and remember that it takes in a value n, and it's the nth prime number that we want to return. And to test this out, I can just do console.log result is, and then um, let's do it with um, 6 because we know the answer is 13. Okay, so to get started with this, we just need to, the main focus of the algorithm is just basically come up with a way of generating prime numbers. And there might be like um, efficient algorithms or whatever to do this, but my method is basically just go through every odd number and just try dividing by basically every number between, um, between I guess, two and itself and basically make sure that it divides it like if any of them re return a remainder of zero which that means it will divide okay and that means it's not a prime number and then we'll move on to the next one and so on so the first thing i'm going to do here is i'm going to have a variable count and count will just keep track of the number of prime numbers that we have generated and then we can use this in a while loop to make sure that we can say something like while count is less than n and then we can keep generating. And what I'm also going to have is a variable number called candidate value. And candidate value is basically just a number that we will um, come up with, and which will test if it's prime or not. And the first one, we can set this to 2 to start off with, because we know the lowest prime number is going to be 2. And then finally, we'll have a variable called latest prime. And latest prime is basically the latest prime number that we have generated. Because because we only need to return the nth prime and not a sum or anything like that, uh, we don't need to keep track of the previously generated prime numbers. So all we need to do is keep track of the latest one that we managed to generate. So like I said, with the while loop, we want to make sure that the while loop runs while our count is less than n. Because if we make count go from 0 to n, that will make sure that we generate n prime numbers exactly. So we want to do this while count is less than n, like this. And the another thing I'm going to have here is I'm going to say have a variable called is prime. And is prime is basically the variable that determines if our candidate value is prime or not. And by default, we're going to assume it's true until proven otherwise, which we will do just in a second. So the next thing I'm going to have is an iterator variable called i. And then I'm going to start i is um, 2 and go from go up to the candidate value right here. And what we're essentially going to do here is basically generate a uh, divide i by every um, or every number basically between 2 and that candidate value. And if any of those numbers results in a remainder of 0, this means that i is divisible by that number and therefore it's not prime. And we can change the status of this variable right here. So what we can do here is say if candidate value um, percentage i is equal to 0. So if we divide the candidate value, value by i and the remainder is 0, remember this is just dividing by every number between 2 and itself, then we can say that um, is prime equals false and then we can just return out of this like this. And this will just stop the execution of the for loop. And the final thing we want to do is, after we've tried to divide it by every number between 2 and itself, if it's still prime, then we want to make sure that we, up, we want to update our latest prime value right here. So if is prime, so if it's still prime, what we want to do is set latest prime to um, the candidate value, because we know the candidate value is prime now. And we can also update our count as well, like this. And the final thing to do is basically just move the candidate value onwards to the next number. And what I can say here is something like if candidate value is equal to 2, then candidate value is equal to 3. Because 
three is the next number that we want to try with. Otherwise, um, candidate value equals candidate value plus two. And the reason I'm doing it plus two like this rather than plus one is what after we when we get to two, we want to try it with three. But after three, basically every prime number from three onwards is going to be an odd number. So we just want to keep make sh making sure that we increment by odd values right here. And the final thing we want to do is we want to just uh, return the latest prime right here. So again, this will go ahead and keep updating the latest prime and updating the count until we generate n count n prime numbers. So let's try this out. So I'm just going to open up a terminal. So what we're going to do here is just say node demo.js, and the result has came back undefined. Okay, I think I just figured out what's going on. It's because I think I put return here, but I'm supposed to put break. Because when return happens, it just returns out of the entire function immediately. But what we wanted to actually do here is put break, because we just wanted to break out of the for loop. So if I try this now, we can see, yep, we get the answer, which is 13. So let's try it with the other numbers now. So if we put um, 10 in, I think that should be something like 29. So... Let's try it. Yep, 29. And then we want uh, 100, which should be 541. Yep. And 1000, which, which should be 7919. Yep. And finally, uh, 10,001, which is the one that we want to get. So 10,001. That should be three zeros, actually. And it should be 104743. Yep, and we can see that we get 104743. So we do have a working solution. So again, I'll walk through what this does. So we have count, which counts the number of prime numbers we've generated. Candidate value is the value that we change each time to test if it's a prime number. And we have latest prime, which is the latest prime number that we generated. And what we'll do is for each candidate value, while count is less than n, we'll assume that it's prime. Then we'll try dividing by all numbers between two and itself. And if one of those results in a remainder of zero, that means it's not a prime number. And we can set is prime to false and break out of the for loop. And if it's still prime after that for loop, then we should set the latest prime to our candidate value. And we should increase count by one since we've just generated a prime number. And then what we want to do is if we were on two, we want to move to three as our next value to test. Otherwise, just keep moving on to the next odd number, which is why we increase by two each time. And when the count gets equal to n, that means we've generated n prime numbers. So we're ready to return whatever was the latest prime number that we generated, which will be the nth prime number. So we can go ahead and submit that solution. So let's do that into here. And what we can also do is in terms of the official solution, we can just copy our answer from here and um, paste it into here. And that should work. And this should also be okay now that we have the nth prime function written out. So we can just run the tests. And the infinite loop warning will still come up, but don't worry about it. It's just because we have that uh, while loop right here. But um, it will take a while to test this as well. Um, into, as you can see, though, we have the official problem completed right here. So uh, we know that the solution is correct. We just have to wait for this to continue checking. And it's finally working right here. It just took a couple of attempts, I think, because my computer was being slow or something. But um, after a couple of tries, it did work. It was a correct solution. It just sometimes it just times out before um, it gets to an answer. But we can now go ahead and submit this and move on.